Hi, I'm Ricky Martin. Yes, that Ricky Martin. Britain's third most popular Ricky Martin. And this is Earth Sketchpad, where we draw everything in nature together at the same time. Like this. This beautiful peacock done by Edward. Check out the colours. You can tell it's a male peacock from the colours. Very colourful. Beautiful colouring in. And attention to detail. Look at that. The plume of feathers on the head, known as the crown. Lovely stuff, Edward. Your artwork is marvellous. And now it's time for us to make some more. Ugh. The way Earth Sketchpad works is I draw some creatures causing some chaos and all the ideas come from you. It could be a Venus flytrap biting a giraffe, it could be a stag making a right mess in a supermarket, or it could even be a python driving a digger through a takeaway, like it was last week. It's really easy, just get your adult minion to send your amazing ideas via Instagram or Twitter using the hashtag BBC Earth Sketchpad. And these ideas will land in my ideas tin via the beautiful BBC Earth Kids YouTube team. Let's say hi to them. There they are, trapped in their little boxes, still in isolation at home. Up at the top there, that is Jeff, our OMG, the one man gallery. It's nice to see that his hair started to grow back because, I mean, if it wasn't locked down, I'd be afraid to go outside if I was him, you know what I'm saying? Right, anyway, it's time to pick a creature. Let's have a look, look. And this week it is a tortoise. And this is from Mika in Bristol. I used to live in Bristol, it's a lovely town, and that is a lovely suggestion. So, let's get some music going to get us in the mood of some drawing. I fixed my musical desk this week, straight in this time, lovely stuff. So, I'm gonna start drawing this tortoise, and I'm gonna start with the head. And the head's kind of a boxy shape like this and that's because it's looking right at you a bit of perspective in there now tortoises can live to be super old the oldest one is 188 years old and his name is Jonathan and he is a Seychelles giant tortoise he has been alive since 1832 two years before the uh, refrigerator was invented I'm going to draw his eyes, they're just like little dark bits with a kind of a brow over the top of them because they look quite grumpy and old, but well, I think they're probably quite happy. Nostrils up here. And its mouth, big wide mouth. So tortoises don't have any ears, but they have tiny little holes that they hear through. I'm going to draw his front leg. Very strong, scaly legs, like that. And his other one, just next to him here. Like that. One of the most important things about drawing a tortoise is getting in the shell. So the shell is full of nerve endings, so if you actually scratch the tortoise shell, give it a rub, the tortoise can feel it, which is kind of crazy because it's made out of keratin, which is the same thing as nails and horns. I can't feel anything when I scratch my nail or my hair. I haven't got any hair. That'd be why. And the big shell is made up of scales. It's called scoots. Try saying that really quickly. Scales called scoots. Like a massive thing like that. And it kind of goes down slightly at the back. He's got his big legs just hanging underneath it here. A little rim like that. And you can see these scoots now. Looks like really big kitchen tiles, but green ones, greeny brown. The Galapagos tortoise is the largest tortoise in the world, or well, the largest living one anyway. 
They can be up to 260 kilograms in weight, that is 40 bowling balls, or 750 cans of soup. Uh, and I don't know why this is relevant, but that is about three kangaroos. Uh, because they're nothing like kangaroos, you know, they don't jump anywhere and they don't have pouches. Hmm. So I draw some scales now on his legs. That little trick for scales, of course, just drawing little semicircles that overlap. Obviously, have you seen the look on this thing's face? Very chuffed. So a group of tortoises is called a creep, and that isn't because they're all weirdos, but one scientist has suggested that it's because they move quite slowly. This is really interesting about tortoises. Tortoises were the first vertebrates to orbit the moon and come back to Earth. How cool is that? I mean, these guys beat humans into space. They had their own space company that built up, which was a shell company, actually, of a, another company, but they made rockets and then they, uh, and they flew to the moon. Uh, which was, of course, one small step for tortoises and one giant leap for mankind. There is a tortoise. And now it's time to pick some chaos for this creature. Remember, you can send in your chaos to us using your adult servant on Instagram or Twitter with the hashtag BBC Earth Sketchpad. So let's find some chaos. Ooh, this is from Trin. And she would like, well, I'm stealing her chaos, but she would like this animal wearing sunglasses, skateboarding down a ramp in space. Well, it's fitting, seeing as tortoises were the first vertebrates in space. All right, let's change the music, get a new track going. Good, that is good. Right, let's put this tortoise in space wearing sunglasses. Just going to resize it and I'm actually going to delete a little bit of this drawing so that I can put it on a skateboard. We're going to use some artistic license here because tortoises, well, not that I've seen, ever stand up. Now, um, apparently tortoises can stand up. A lot of people say that their pet tortoises can stand up, but it is very rare. Right, so they stood up there, draw the shell going around the back. And little legs coming down like this. You don't normally see the underside of a tortoise, but this tortoise is ripped. Look at that six pack there. Put some knee pads on him. Safety first, guys. Oh, what am I thinking? It's in space. Space helmet. There we go. Get the sunglasses on. Oh yeah, this tortoise is looking out of this world. See what I did there? Because it's oh, space. Anyway, put more little scales there, marks around. Get the scoots back on to the shell, and I can draw the skateboard in. So there's a the little tip of the skateboard there, lifting up, going back like that. Because he's riding a popsicle board. So you can do tricks. A little edge down the side there as well. Now some wheels. Thanks for this suggestion, Katrina, because I love drawing things on skateboards. Being a skateboarder myself. It's in the colour in the grip tape. Just a scribble, just to adjust it. Should be going quite fast on a skateboard. There's a cat that's invaded Pauline's office this time. They have zero regard for making art-based programs. Right, riding down a ramp. So I'm going to draw the point of the ramp up here in the distance when it's dropped in on. Like that. And it's going to go off the end here. Uh, launch off over something. I'll decide what that is in a minute. We are in space. Any suggestions, guys, what the uh, tortoise should be launching over? The moon. All right, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep, first in, gonna be jumping over the moon. Little rolling up there. I mean, this really wouldn't work because, you know, it's in space and there's no gravity. But we're taking artistic license on the tortoise so we can take liberties with gravity as well. Yeah. 
Yes. I'm going to take liberties with the size of the moon because I want you to be able to see it. So the moon's super close. A couple of craters in it. Really simple to do, just sort of squash circles. And then little edges coming up through the craters. Let's just draw the flag in there as well, you know. You notice how tortoises went to the moon. They didn't have to put a flag up at all, did they? Just went straight round, came back, no worries. They weren't in it for the ink. It's good. And, well, sunglasses quite warm. Maybe let's put a little, let's put a little sunbed on the moon as well. Why not? Who could be on the sunbed? Sit on the roof here with a pair of sunglasses on. As our friend the dodo. He gets around. How would he have gotten to the moon? Oh, let's see. Probably just gonna draw a little thing here. Just behind this crater. The roof's all smashed in. It's his golf cart which he takes everywhere. I don't think it's going to ride after this. It's going to have to get an MOT or something because it's completely smashed. A little bit of smoke coming off it. But he doesn't care because he's sunbathing on the moon. There's a little bowl of gravel there. Nom, nom, nom. Right, let's put this puppy in space. Have a planet in the background. I really like drawing Saturn. So let's draw a ring planet here. And a couple of little planets in the background. Some stars. <laughs> uh, have you seen the look on the tortoise's face? <laughs> there we go. We have a tortoise wearing sunglasses, riding a skateboard down a ramp in space. And our usual gate crasher down here, the dodo. Hey dodo. So there you have a creature in some chaos. Now we really want to see your creature chaoses, so please share them with us. Get your adult chef to take a picture of your artwork and put it on Instagram or Twitter using the hashtag BBCF Sketchpad. And it will come to us, we will see it and we'll get to share it with the world, hopefully. Remember, we want you to put your name on it. We need to know who you are so we can show it off. Like this, a peacock butterfly, and this is by Zach, who is six. Thank you very much, Zach. Beautiful paint job there, lovely colors. Look at that, they painted in. And these things on the wings look like eyes, which could deter predators. Now, Zach has been studying butterflies' life cycles. He's even gonna make a butterfly-shaped pizza. Do not put the butterflies on it, okay? They're not toppings. Maybe some cheese and tomatoes, that would be a better choice. Uh, oh, I hope your pizza doesn't fly away, Zach. Thank you very much for that. Now, Zach's brother, Joshua, he has drawn us this uh, wonderful red squirrel. Obviously not a gray squirrel, you can tell, by the coloring in here. And it's on a big piece of bouncing jelly. What's that? Oh, it's a tree or a bush. Sorry about that, Joshua. Thank you very much for that. We love it. Excellent stuff. For the great guy here, just eating a nut. Yum, yum, yum. Nice use of shading as well. And then finally, we have a, this, a beautiful Robin. Not from Robin, though. This is from Thomas, who is age six. This is the Robin, which is, of course, UK's national bird. Puffing out his chest. Nice one there. Have a little face. Hello. Apparently, it puffs out his chest to intimidate other birds because they're quite territorial. Who would be afraid of a robin? They're so cute. Hmm. Also, fab detail on the tree. Remember to get your adult minion to share with us your artwork via Instagram or Twitter using the hashtag BBC Earth Sketchpad. Thank you very much for all that awesome artwork. Now it's time for the secret sketch. So the secret sketch is very simple. All you need is something to draw with and some paper and you just draw along with me. Now it's a secret sketch because only I know what it's going to be. But by the end, 
you would have drawn a work of art that you never knew you could draw. So, BBC Earth YouTube team, do you have your pens and paper at the ready? There you go. They're ready to go. Now, I've been quite inspired by the artwork this week. That might give you a clue to what the secret sketch is going to be. So let's get down to it. Yeah, now I'm ready. So, just remember to draw along. I'm going to start by drawing a line like that. And another one mirroring it the other side. Just going to join them together underneath. And then at the top bit here, a little round bit followed by a point and then another little round bit on the other side. Any guesses yet, guys? A cat. It's not a cat. A spoon. A, it's not a, do you say spoon? It's not a spoon. <laughs> baboon. Oh, baboon, sorry. Um, no, it's not. I'll add some more details in. There you go, a couple bits like that. Lion. It's not a lion, Pauline. Can I add a little bit down here? And some sort of bird. You reckon it's some sort of bird? Hamster. It's not a hamster. It could actually be a hamster. It's not a hamster. Guinea pig? No. This is going to start to give it away a little bit more now. I'm kind of using these lines as guides. Because this bit is the animal's train. By the way, that's not a um, form of transport. Ah, Pauline's got it. Not going to say what it is though. So I'm going to start adding more of these little eye shapes around here. Just loads of them around and they're all pointing towards the center. Now if I was coloring this in, it would be a lot easier to guess. More like that. There we go. And now at the bottom, just gonna join up these little scribbles with these little lumps sticking out the bottom. Add a little bit up the back, like that. Some markings on it. And now a little cloud over the top. And this train is blue. Well, quite a lot of it's blue, which is one of the rarest colours in nature. Top bit like that. Just add that little bit on there. Lies in. There we go. Because it is, of course, a peacock. A male peacock, to be exact. The hens are far more conservative with their colouring. So, BBC Earth Kids YouTube team, how did yours go? Let's have a look. Oh, lovely stuff. Good work. Well done. Chris, yours is excellent. Of course, Pauline, yours is always good. And Jeff, I'm always surprised by your progress. Well done. So, of course, we'd love to see how yours went too. So please share your amazing art using your adult minion. The person that cleans your clothes. Just get them to do one more thing. Take a picture of your beautiful art and share it with us on Instagram or Twitter using the hashtag BBC Earth Sketchpad. We need more pictures, so keep them coming, okay? And that's it. Thank you for all your art and all your ideas this week. And remember to check out all the other videos on the BBC Earth Kids YouTube channel. All right, I'll feed you in a minute. I've just gotta finish this. That's not Ricky Martin. I've been Ricky Martin. Now go and watch some more Earth sketch pads. Bye-bye. Ooh, check this out. I'm now the UK's fourth most popular Ricky Martin. No wait, that's worse.